What is up everybody? It is your boy Herf here back on the Duel Links Entertainment channel and today we got a brand new event called Duke Devlin Appears Roll the Dice. Let's get in there. Let's see what it is all about. So right away you'll see that it is another one where we have to unlock certain stages of the event and then do all the stuff. So we're going to be going over all the event review cards. However, Duke Devlin does drop from this event. So before I even get to any of the specific rewards, just know that this is an absolutely mandatory event because you need to have all the characters, you can get all the gems, all that kind of stuff. So first, let's start with the cosmetics. Okay, this isn't terrible. Not terrible. Okay, first, big criticism. I do not like this. I think that this boss monster that he has, I think it looks lame. Okay, it, it's just corny looking in my opinion his arm why is his arm so long is he like a gorilla this is not proportional to his body okay okay that's my first criticism now let's look at the sleeves where are the sleeves all right so here it's basically the same exact thing i still think it looks kind of corny even though it looks kind of cool uh you know i don't know it, it just it doesn't look good to me i maybe i'm being overly critical but yeah look at this guy his arm is not that long here. Look. Look at his arms. Not that long. Okay. So let's get into the actual cards. Alright, yeah. So basically, like I said before, proceed through the event to unlock Duke Devlin and get the new Ultra card BES Big Core Mark II. So let's see. So you're going to be able to get him on March 29th. A duelist that learns Dice of Ogroth Relentless that lets you roll a 6 on the turn you summon Ogroth the Relentless. As well as draw sense dice, which adds one card that requires a dice roll to your hand from your deck. So we don't know the conditions for that. But even... Alright, so let's just go to the card catalog. Let's see if there are literally any... Is there... Are there any good dice rolling cards? Whoops. Roll. Uh... Orgoth the Relentless, of course. Cubic Ascension. Dice it. So this is a searchable dice it. Okay. Uh, oh, controller. Okay. Dark. You can search Zork. You can search Snipe Hunter. Uh, nothing is really that good. You can search Graceful Dice absolutely broken but yeah so okay three trolling trolls okay so it's okay never mind um i'm not really seeing anything good the the hard part is is that dice rolling is pretty outdated because konami didn't really want to go that route with Yu-Gi-Oh. so basically the two biggest things that you'd be able to search are either dice it or graceful dice snipe hunter dark master zork those are really the only things that you'd be able to search that are relevant at the moment. So, I'm trying to find literally anything else. Ooh, Dangerous Machine Type 6. Yeah, it's all bad, isn't it? It's literally all bad. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so that skill looks bad. Let's, uh, oh, here are the cosmetics. I still think that they look like crap. All right, let's look at these and then we'll go up. Alright, so... Orgoth Relentless. So this is supposed to be, like, what, his signature card? Dude, look at those quads! Holy moly, that man's ripped. Anyways. Once per turn, during your main phase, you can roll a three-sided die, or a six-sided die three times, and this card gains attack and defense equal to the total times 100 until the end phase of your opponent's turn. So you roll it three times. What does that skill say? Uh, there will a six on the turn. So only sixes. That was only sixes. That is six times three, which would be eighteen. So that still only gets it to eighteen hundred plus twenty-five. So that's what forty-three hundred. That's pretty decent until the end of your opponent's turn. Then, if two of the results were the same, apply the appropriate effect. If all three, uh, okay, if all three are the same, apply all of these effects. So, if you, okay, so if that skill is correct, 
and insane. If if I think that this skill does with only sixes, the turn that you summon this, okay, you would be able to attack your direct attack directly. Couldn't be destroyed by card effects and draw two, and it would be forty three hundred attack. That means it would be an OTK. Okay, but it can still be targeted, right? Like nothing really relies on being able to destroy your opponent's monsters. Therefore, not really that good. Also, we don't really have a good way to summon it. Right, so you'd have to rely on something like Super Team Buddy Force. Uh, we could play Warriors, and we could play this in there. I, it just doesn't really seem that good to me, right? We play like Obnoxious Celtic Guardian and Orgoth or Relentless. Like that—that's really the deck. It's not good. Okay, so now going on, Ambitious Goffer. Okay, once per turn, you can target up to two monsters your opponent controls. Your opponent can reveal one monster in their hand to negate this card's effect otherwise destroy those monsters so it's basically like a treacherous that your opponent can negate as well as it's an ignition not a trigger so you'd have to be able to ask uh, it's just a worse treacherous and it requires a way to get it to the field in which we don't have so uh ultimately it's targeting destruction it's an ignition effect it's your opponent is able to negate it it's hard to summon and we just have treacherous in the game already so this card is awful this card is cheesy but has a decent effect this card is just straight up awful uh bes big core mark two so if you control no monsters you can normal summon this card without tributing. When this card is special summoned, place three counters on it. This card cannot be destroyed by battle. If this card attacks or is attacked, remove one counter from this card at the end of the damage step if you cannot destroy it. So it's important to note that it's at the end of the damage step. So even if you just normal summon it, uh, it won't get destroyed by battle the first time. However, do we have any support for this archetype? Let's check the card catalog. I know we have like a few cards that are similar to it. Alright, so we're going to get the BES Big Core. Otherwise, what else do we have? We have the BES Tetrin. When this card is normal, someone put three counters on it. This cannot be destroyed by battle. If this card is attacked or is attacked, remove one monster from. Let's try it. If you cannot destroy it, what's pretty cool? Okay, so this one destroys the spell or trap and has all of the same. So wait. wait. Is this one just like... Okay, let's read the other ones as well. BES Crystal Core. This card is normal summon. Put three counters on it. This card cannot be destroyed by battle. This card attacks or is attacked. Remove one counter from this card at the end of the damage step. You cannot destroy it. Uh, once per turn during your main phase, you can change one phase of attack position. So these two have like meaningful effects. This one you can change an attack, uh, change a battle position. And this one you can destroy a spell or trap. The BES Big Core. This card can, if this card is normal summon, you can place three counters on it. Cannot be destroyed by battle. Uh, so this is basically, so these two are basically the same thing. I guess that's why it's Mark Two. The only difference is, is you can normal summon it without tributing. But it doesn't get its effect. So only when it's special summoned. Can it? Can you place three counters on it? So, you kind of lose the special. I mean, you lose like the entire effect because you can't get the effect off normal. Summon. If it was just you normal summon it, you put three counters. This card would be really good, or not? If not really good, at least decent. But because you like, I don't know. I don't know why Konami does this, dude. Oh, it sucks. This event sucks. All right, it doesn't suck, but it's just straight up not good. Okay, but the other thing that came out today was the dual quest dungeon. So the biggest uh, the biggest news here is that we got another spellbook tower. So previously we only had one in the game. Now we have two. I don't think spell books are even going to use both of them. But at least you know that they have two and you get a little icon there. I think that this is far better than anything the Duke Devlin thing is giving us. So there you have it. 
Anyways, I'm going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Make sure you check out the Twitch because that's where we hold tournaments. Make sure you Discord. Make sure you get in the Discord because that's where we have free new player help and that's how you sign up for the tournaments. We just hit 10k subs, so thank you so, 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 so much for all that. And I will see you guys later.